What's up my YouTube family, Sergeant Greybeard back with another Division video. Today is Monday, May 17th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. One thing I'd like to mention really quick as we begin, as I mentioned on the thumbnail of this video, there are no spoilers. I'm not going to be talking about details of Heartland. Yes, we know that certain things were leaked over the weekend, but I wanted to let you know right out of the gate, I am not talking about those things today. Now, if you happen to be new here, first of all, welcome. Secondly, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful at all, take a quick second and hit that like button. It really does help us out. Finally, as most of you know, we have giveaways here and our current one is for a PlayStation 5 and all you need to do to enter is either subscribe here or follow us on Twitter. Either way is fine. The winner will be announced on July 4th of this year and as I've said in every previous video, keep in mind that watching our content is not a requirement to win. Only watch the things here you may enjoy. That's why you have the option of entering via Twitter. Having said that, let's get into today's video. Obviously, the first thing I'm going to talk about today is Heartland. As many of you have reached out to the channel over the last few days asking if I was going to do a breakdown of the gameplay, go over specifics, and there are a few reasons why I'm not going to do that. So first of all, I'm about two days late to the party, meaning there is already so much information out there in regards to Heartland. You can see footage, you can hear a breakdown of what the gameplay actually is at this point. And remember, it's still in the testing phase, but a lot of people want to know that information if they can. And on the flip side of that coin, there are many people out there who just want to be surprised in regards to what the new gameplay is going to be. And not only that, they don't want to get their hopes up over something that may not actually happen when the final product is released. Now, on a personal note for me, I'm choosing not to share it because I do not want I understand, you know, when these games are done, I, I know there's this mentality where it's like this big corporate overlord and all this stuff, whatever. But there are so many people who work so hard to make this game a reality. And unfortunately, when leaks like this happen, and look, there's already rumors going around, it's a controlled leak, it's this, I don't care, the point is this, when leaks like this happen, what takes place is people are being judged on unfinished work, and in my opinion, that's completely unfair. And once again, to be clear, I'm not disparaging anyone who chooses to watch it or to share it on their channel, none of that matters, that is a choice you make, we're all grown ass people, like we can choose to do whatever we want. However, having said that, I wanna make sure I provide a form where where you do have the option of watching it or not. One thing to keep in mind as well, I think we're a matter of weeks away with getting official news in regards to when we can expect certain things. And the other thing I want to mention really quick as we move on is from what I've seen from the footage and the gameplay and the other details, I think this is going to make a lot of people very, very happy. And keep in mind as well, this is just a small portion of the actual expansion of the Division universe. So again, there's so much for us to look forward to, my friends, and I can't wait to share it with you. The next thing I'd like to talk about are changes that a lot of you would like to see in regards to the Division 2 and things we'd like to see added to the game. And one of which is the ability to equip multiple exotic items at the same time. Now, of course, when I say that, I know at this point in the game, you can have an exotic weapon equipped and an item at the same time. However, I'm referring to multiple exotic items. So imagine running Coyote's Mask with Memento Backpack. I mean, it would just be absolutely insane. Another thing a lot of you want to see are more legendary missions in the game, and I completely agree with that. I mean, I would love to see Lincoln Memorial have a legendary mode. It's one of my favorite missions in the game. You're facing four named bosses. It, you know, once you learn the timing, you can get through it pretty quick. Again, legendary would be much more difficult, but again, it's something I'd love to see. The other thing I hear from a lot of you out there is just about overall loot quality, and I'm really going to focus on challenging difficulty, and many of you would like to see just a slight increase on the actual quality of the loot that happens to drop when you're playing challenging. And the main reason for that is I hear from a lot of players out there that are really struggling from making the jump, and these are players who play on their own, but they're having a hard time making the jump from challenging to heroic, so a slight uptick in the improvement of the gear I think would help a lot of gamers out. And actually, one thing I'd like to mention really quick for players, let's say you're on that fence, you know, between challenging and heroic, do heroic matchmaking, do a random mission. There are so many agents out there that want to help, that want to help you get that better gear, let them know what you're looking for. And again, this is what makes this community absolutely amazing. And as I start to wrap this video up, I would like to take a few minutes and talk about the first episode of Diplomats of the Division and the amazing feedback that you sent the channel in regards to that series. And you know, it was the first one, this came about really quick, but your support has been absolutely unbelievable. 
Now, for those of you that maybe have missed it, I will make sure to leave a link for it in the description down below. And there are going to be so many episodes, my friends. There are so many people I'm in the process of reaching out to. One thing I learned is that, you know, it, it does take a lot of time to put these things together. So I'm working on them as quick as I can. I mean, I have received so many messages, so many people that you'd like to hear from. I promise you I'm taking notes. It does take a while to reach out to people. We have to figure out scheduling. You know, it's worldwide. Like, it's absolutely insane. So again, the support you've shown this idea has been unbelievable and I'm sincerely thankful for it. Most of you know by now that one of my main goals in creating this channel was to create that toxic free gaming environment where people work together. So again, if there's anyone you would like to hear from that really helps make this a more positive place to be, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. With that being said, my friends, I'm going to start to wrap this up. I know it's a shorter video, but again, there is going to be no shortage of news coming up soon. I want to wait until certain things are official before I really talk about it. But again, there is going to be no shortage of things to bring you, my friends. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Body temperature drop. detected alert faction temporarily stabilized drop in core temperature detected <laughs> <laughs>